Hi everyone. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to kind of do an unboxing video because uh, today I opened up my account and I found this new option here saying Team Drives. Now I've read a lot about the Team Drives and what it can do, so let's uh, test it out. So at the moment, there's, there's nothing in my Team Drive, so I need to create a new drive. So let's uh, let's do that, and I'm just going to call this a test folder, and then let's create. Okay, so here's my test folder that I've got here. There's one member, which is me. I can add members, so let's add members. I have an account here that I can use, which is a testing user. So let's go back and add testing. So here's my account, testing user. So let's click on that. Let's add that. I can add a message if I want there. So here, a test folder. And let's send. Okay, so I've sent that over to my test account. Now what I want to do is let's say let's go and create a document. Okay, so I'm going to create a document here within that folder. And let's give this a title. And let's uh, have a look over here. Sharing permissions. Okay, we get a kind of different way of sharing this because it's in our team drive. So edit access, so we can change the edit access here. We can, all right, we can see who's got access um, and the people have got access, my testing account here. So, all right, that's, uh, so that document's in my test folder. There's my test folder. Let's go over now to my account and tick on, click on team drives and there's my team drive here. All right, and can I delete this? Uh, delete for everyone, yes I can. So I think on the members, because this is the where I created it, I can um, maybe go up to here, manage members. Oh, I can change the theme as well if I wanted to. Uh, so I can add members, I can rename it. So let's manage members. Uh, my testing user here has got full access, so I think whoever's got full access can actually delete the files. So I'm going to change this to edit access so that person's only got edit privileges. All right, so, and let's click done. Let's create a new folder in here and create this test folder. Create that here. All right, so I can take this and I can, I can move it in there if I wanted to. Okay, that's fine. So let's go back to this document. Now this is my test user. Can my test user? No, my test user can't move it because this user has only got edit access. But I can create stuff. I can take a document and create it. So um, I can create another document here. So let's do that. Test two and go back. There's my test two folder. Can I move that? No, I still can't. So even if I create the file, the file, I can't actually move it. Um, it's saying over here that it was modified. This is the date modified, so it doesn't actually own it. So what's actually happening here is that in, when you create a T drive, there isn't actually an owner. This is just a, a, a file that's created for that particular team drive. So let's go back to our original file. Um, this file can actually be moved, so I can move these if I wanted to into my test folder. Okay, so that's good. Um, now, what would happen then if I was to uh, have a file in here, so I've got some images here. Now, what happens at the moment, I am the owner of this. Can you see that I'm the owner? So let's take one of those images and drag it into my team drive. Okay, you can't undo this action. You only have permission to add and edit items in the test folder, so you won't be able to undo this action. So basically what it's saying, if I move this file in there, I have no longer got ownership access to it. So I'm gonna click OK. That's going in. Let's go back to my team drive. There's this image. Now I still can't move it, but I can view it. Um, I can't move it back to my original folder. It's not allowing me. So anything that I move into here, um, is going to be permanently moved into my team drive. Um, it's here back in my original, this is my administrator account now, but the administrator, obviously I can, as the administrator, I can move it. Um, so there's, there's definitely a little bit more power for 
full access uh, when you're using full access on this. So this, this tool is going to be a bit of a game changer. So it's going to allow teams to build documentation within these team folders. Now what I want to try now, let's go back to my original files. I have a file in here. This file was created by this particular user. Now what happens if I now remove that person? So I'm going to go to manage members and I'm going to take, I'm going to remove this member. Let's see what happens there. And then done. Now, I'm going to refresh this page. All right, the folder you have, I had no longer have access to any of that. So can I have access to this document? No, I don't. So any changes that I'm making, would have made in that, uh, won't be recorded. So I can change, so the access has been denied. But however, I had actually created a file in here. So despite the fact that this file was created by the other user, it's still seen there. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my team folder. I'm going to add that member again. Testing user, send. Okay, so now if I refresh this page, I should have access back again. There we go. Got access to the team drive again. There's my image. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to test here is I'm going to go into my drive. Okay, so I have a I have a folder here called Media Integration. Now there's a there's a few files in here, all of them owned by me, and the folder is owned by me as well. So I'm going to drag that into my team drive. There we go. Folders can't be moved into team drive. Okay, so we're not at a stage where you can move full folders into team drives. So if I wanted to move files, I can, but I can't actually move folders yet. All right, so maybe that's something that will come soon. So anyway, that's um, that's Team Drives. Um, it looks like a fantastic re resource for building documentation. Um, so if a, a member of your team leaves, that documentation stays in the one place in that Team Drive. And I think it's a bit of a game changer um, and looking forward to seeing what happens in the future.